Okay, it's January 4th, 2024. Happy New Year to everybody. All right, uh, I think it might just be you and me, Layla. Um, maybe it'll look over joint in progress. All right, let's see. All right, triage missing data. So what, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, so just a quick context regarding that. So if you um, open up the performance job um, links at the top of the document, um, the VMI Okay, I don't know why. Can you hear me still? Yeah, I, I think we lost you for a moment. Okay. For some reason, when I try to open some of these links, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> it like takes down my Wi Fi. Like, all right. There yeah. So if you look at the, uh, the data for P50 and P95, um, yeah. you will see that. On January 2, we had a missing run. I mean, we had a run, but its data value was zero. Yeah, that's the one. So I went back and tracked down why it was zero, and that's the link um, in the document. Yes. So if you click on artifacts, Oh no, um, it was, yeah, there. Um, I think we are looking for VMI audit results, yes. Okay. So and the creation. You got yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, all zeros. Wait a second, create a great pods. So supposedly it did with some work. Okay. What does the um does it show anything in here? Like this is the Let's see, so here's our results. One pending. So I mean, you're getting something. It's just so. What does it do? <clears throat> so this is just it's just timing out. Is that what's happening? So twenty one minutes. So it's getting stuck.
I'm not sure. Wait, like, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I so was... this, this okay. one, I wonder. I want to compare. What's this? I don't remember. This isn't familiar. I, I'm... Let me see. Um... Let's see a, a one that worked because I it just seems really odd. This is periodic one, two, seven. This one's also empty. Did I just go to the same one? No, it's a different one. I mean, I'm looking at it as the same here. Why is this? How are we getting any data if this is everything I could do is the exact same and have no data here? All right. I'll send you a link from last uh, Friday. <clears throat> yeah, do you have one that's working? Let me, let me see. Yeah. What, um, okay. This one's working? Yeah, the deletion to failed is um, zero. Oh, I'm looking at deletion. Oh, okay. Um, that's, I keep looking at the same one. Okay. Uh, that's why. Wait, I didn't scroll far enough. It's the... Um... It was right there, just above the deletion matrix. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the there right here. Go. Okay. Okay. Okay, I was looking at the deletion. Okay, so okay, so this is a working one. Okay, so what was I looking at? So let me go back to like twelve thirty one. So this should have um, here's our deletion. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we have these numbers p fifty p ninety five. They all look the same. Okay, um, just not. And then the broken one was um, it's this one. It has no data. Well, it has. Well, it does have data though. So wait, we just didn't scrape it. Um, no. I are you looking at seven zero two four? I mean, I'm gonna try again. Let me see. Seven. This was the one you linked. Is this the broken one right here? Yep. Sorry, I. Okay, creation P95, P50, P99, there's there's values here. But, uh -huh. 
So, but they don't kill any artifacts? Yeah. Are you looking at the VMIs? VMI creates a running P95. But uh, that six second does not sound right. Is that a seeded value? We should be getting in order of 15 seconds or something. Mm. Oh, okay. Please count 100. It says it's running. Yeah, it says they're running. Um... And then the other one we want to look at is the three pods count, which is about 100. <clears throat> okay. So wait a second. So they'll let me look at so yeah. Okay, so here's 19 uh running phase. This is what be my creation running. And then oh here's zero. Oh here you go. Here's the zero. Okay, so these are the results from the three tests, I think. So one of them Create pods. Eight. So one of them's kind of running pods. One of them's wrong. One gets all zeros. This one gets all zeros. The second one's right. Or looks, uh, I think it's right. 1915. That looks right. The third one. So um, what are all these three different results? So I was thinking that we, there were three different tests, but I, I it shouldn't be grouped like this. Yeah. I, I don't know why it's like this. Like why, why, usually what happens is it's run a test, then do scrape the results, but there's nothing in between. I don't know why this is doing it like three times. Yeah, I have a feeling that this might be a race condition where the incorrect result is getting um, applied last. That's why okay. um, we are losing let's, value. Yeah, okay, let's look at, a, well, let me close some of these. Let me look at a one that's, that's good here. Let's look at this one. So if we go in here, All right, so we take, okay, three, five, 16. Okay, it seems a little quick. All right, so we'll go up to the second one, 15, 19, 19. Seems right. Go to the first one. Yeah, 15, 19, 19. <laughs> okay. So that's what it's, 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 so the scraping is pulling from the first one then it looks like, and um, somehow that gets one. I don't know why there are three though. It's, there are three tests that pass, but it's just not reporting like what I expect it to be reporting it. Okay, we might have to do some. We might have to look at this again. I I don't know what, I don't know what's changed here. That this is um. I think there's been some changes in in the Qbert test suite. That's probably what it is, and their reporting or something or the way these are run has changed, and that might be what's affecting this. Because this used to be a lot longer too, I and mean, we're only at a few thousand lines. This used to be much longer. Yeah, yeah. I, we oh, used I to see change. other things, right? Like yeah. one of hundred VMI it's running and things like that. Don't see that. Eh? Yeah, I think I think something has changed in the test suite, probably outside of our code, and or maybe something did change in the code that was affecting multiple tests that got updated, and we need to look at this again. And that's probably why we're getting a null value, an empty value.
I, I still need to know three tests are right. Like it says they are. I just don't understand without any of the logs. It's really not clear to me. So um, from what I recall, there should not be three um, test results, right? There should just be one because we click the VMI, um, uh, the VMI link. So it should just be for the VMI. This, so if, if you go to the periodics tab that you have open third one. Yeah, so here, if you click the running VMs, which is second from the last, um, green light lanes, yeah. They should provide you just one result, which is for VM. That was my last um, understanding. I'm surprised that we are getting three. Right, so here are three tests. We've got our, that's what I was gonna look at. So we've got our VMs, VMIs, and, uh, and then one using the instance type. Correct, and, yes. Um, but we're getting the results in all of them. Oh, okay, so then, um, so that one that you lost data, right? You said it was in VMIs. Was it in VMIs only? Yes. Okay, I wonder if that's, so here, I guess there's a few things that don't make sense. Why the data is so different between the three, that doesn't make any sense. Why there are, why it's reporting all three of the results in individual jobs doesn't seem to make sense. Um, oh, I, I think, oh, sorry. Sorry, Ryan. I, I think I figured out one part of it. So okay. if you click the January 2, uh, first, yeah. So if you click that box and open up, and then if you click the box below, it will op it will link the same job. So even though they are, separately listed in the last page it's it's the same job that's why the it's the list. okay so that's what a three okay so then um and then how is it that we get like it seems like the um yeah like how is it that we get so we should see um well so the times the times reported make no sense but we see so one of them's getting zero consistently right or not consistently getting different numbers not zero it's um let me go to that again. So we have these numbers. Which which graph is scraping this? I'm getting three and six and so shouldn't it be so, our VM data? Well, uh, to figure that out, you can go to um, the artifacts directory. And yeah, you'll have so be... one of the instance type or the VM will get three. Okay, so let's see, it's not here. 15 now, oops. It's not, uh, here it is. So the instance type one is getting it, whoops. So the instance type one is getting these really small ones. Yeah, really small values. But we don't plot that yet. So it's not reflected in any of our um, graphs. Okay, so that's interesting. So this is still, so that's why we haven't seen this anywhere. Okay, so this is still, this is still strange. I mean, that's, I don't know where we're getting this. And maybe it is like that, but I don't. I don't know. We haven't seen that in any of our. I don't know what would cause that. That kind of performance. We haven't seen that. I guess these. Oh, okay. These were like small instance types. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they're, maybe they're smaller. That's maybe what's doing it. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Okay, so that could explain that. So the only thing it doesn't explain is how we get nothing on the VMI artifact. This one here yeah so i i think um we are indeed scraping the vmi result and the the vmi values are uh 
being observed as zero. So I think we have to dig into that part. Yeah, which is strange. I mean, we can see that the of the running the the pods are running. So when so... when these tests are run, um, is there a way to get hold of the environment? Yeah, I'm wondering how do we go ahead and debug this because um, we could try to reproduce this locally. I'm not sure if it will be a you know hit or miss. Not sure. Brian would Brian or Daniel might might know or we gotta help on this one. Yeah, I'm not sure because like all the signs here, right? Like this to me is pointing to the fact that we did some work. I mean, even all this, all these requests look fine. I mean, this is a little low, but I mean, it's almost like we're, it's almost like we missed. Let me see, where's the, uh, where's the working one? So if we go to, um, I think this is an, estimate if I remember correctly if this one's done by interpolation so this value yeah it is it has I remember this one has interpolation so this means that um, it's an increase and then there's a little bit of interpolation over time so roughly usually it's 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 a little bit so it's I guess the way to think about it's like it's a there's a block of time chunk of time where we measure the number of um, requests and it's almost like it seems like our offset is a little bit wrong here like it's like we we missed a few of them we missed a few of the uh requests and then this one um i forget how this one's calculated but i remember that it has to be, um, this one only appears when, um, this one definitely is racy. Like you can only get it when you run the um, the metric job exactly when they're all running or had, or Prometheus has scraped this metric and has it around. So you can't, like if you do too soon, you won't get it. Whereas like some of the other stuff you will, you'll still get it on time because of the offsets. It almost seems like we're scraping too late. Yeah, it's it's weird. So when when we see the running phase count as one zero one, we should get the because the phase is running and it's accounted for in the Prometheus monitoring. Shouldn't uh, creation to running phase timestamp also be accounted for like it's contradictory that face count is being accounted for and gives us almost the right value but creation to running is not uh being shown yeah i'm trying to think how um how would we lose our creation to running value because if the pods are there then we should be able to calculate this. I don't know why Prometheus would not have this, unless that the pods actually aren't there. I mean, we don't see any deletion there. The other thing too is like there's this kind of a so that like you were saying earlier like if you're wondering if it's a race like there this is um it's an estimate a lot of this is an estimate and it's like a pretty good guess but because what we're doing it's it's so much timing based of when we grab these things it's um there there is room for a little bit of error like like right we get 
this is not like, I don't think we ever have seen this as exactly a hundred when it, when it's exactly what it should be, but it's not, it's, it's like almost impossible to get because it's based on timing and estimates. So it might just be that we're missing here. We're just so slightly off on our time. Yeah, could be. I think like when we come across this, I think like, yeah, I mean, I think in order to handle this, I think probably the best way to do this is to, um, is to discount the data. I mean, we can't, we can't do anything with this. Like we'd have to rerun it essentially. Like when we come to this, we had a zero, we'd have to rerun it and we'll probably catch it correctly. Like we're seeing in the other charts, like we're getting it like a significantly a significant force of time. It's we're getting it correct. You know, it's in some cases we don't. So what we can do is we can ignore the zeros that appear when, like when we scrape, or we can look into, um, I mean, rerunning the job when we come across zeros like this. So um, I was wondering, is there a way if we come across zeros, can we keep the job, uh, you know, alive? Um, that way we can go dig into, you know, what's causing this. Um, the the reason why I'm little concerned about ignoring the results is we we don't really know if this is a faulty monitoring, um, you know, timing issue or something underneath is wrong. Uh, that that's causing these kinds of issues. Well, the thing that is at least encouraged, like, so the reason I think that it's not likely wrong is because we have this, like there were, there were running, there were running workloads here. I don't know why we're not getting it. And like, you can see all the create requests, like things were running, things look fine. It's just, we're not, we're not getting the, um, we're not getting the scrape that we need. We missed it. I'm not sure what so, the timing is. That's all. So if you look at the healthy one, uh, there are much more the the number of observed um, counts is is much longer than what we have in the uh, faulty one. So it's not just that we are missing the the P ninety five data. A lot of other things are missing um, in, in the four day no, but like in the four day. No. What do you mean a lot of like the um the requests here? Like some of these yes. requests? So get endpoints, get leases count, get nodes count, those are not present in uh, in the four day. Like the number of um, metrics that we measure. Yeah. So that makes me think there is, you know, something wrong underneath, um, which is taking off all of those um, results. Well, so part of the reason that, so I, I for a while, I thought that LA, like when, when I was originally working on this, but so this is why I added this because this was sort of the sanity. Like if this one, this, this value provided some, some sanity, it's just because we can see that I think, so the way this metric was generated is different than the other ones. It's, I, I'm, it is timing based, but it's, um, it's, it's, a it's usually, yeah, it's a counter and it's different. Um, it's like a lot of these are using interpolation and this one's not. And the interpolation ones are very sensitive to timing and this one, well, it is sensitive to timing, but as long as you, um, if it's there, like if the pods are there, then this one will show 
that things are running. So this is what I use to to verify that um, things were actually working. So like when I had the log, like when we used to have the logs in here, I don't know where they went, but showed the, the number of stuff being created. <clears throat> and then the timing of when this metric would appear would vary like half the time it wouldn't appear even though that the metrics themselves would appear like the, the creation to running and stuff would still appear. And so the only thing that I could use to like say it worked was the create pod counts plus the metrics because that would verify worked. But then you can come across like a situation like this where I, I feel like we've missed something like we're off timing here by just a smidge and we're missing a ton of these. They have all, so this is based on an increase with interpolation. So we missed the window for when those um, for when those uh, those requests happen. They probably happened maybe five seconds earlier or ten seconds earlier, and we're, they're not in our the window that we're checking. So uh, that's why that's why I kind of look at this. It it's just a bad it's a bad sample. Like we like I, it there was an error in the job. We created the pods, they're running, we just completely missed it. We missed the we missed grabbing the data. So um if that were to be the case for any um for any test uh, which have zero values in creation to running, we should ignore all the um all the metrics, right? Not just creation to running, but even like create events count, create pod count, because we don't know if it is reliable or not. Like we should take the entire set of observation out of the graphs um, that we have plotted. Well, in that case, we're, we might get down to a very small amount of data because like, I don't know, because the timing on getting all of them, like everything that we want, like you can see in some of these, it's. I like some of these lists, like, I don't even know how to describe these. Like they don't, I see them sometimes, sometimes you don't. Like, I think the windows for these are really small. So some of them are hard, like hard to get. I guess like, I guess like the way, to me it's that if you, if we get zeros on, like if the value of, um, yeah, I guess what you're saying is like, so like, um, in your, in, so would be, you're saying it's like, if we have, if we use the value from the P95 and we got a zero from the number of get nodes or something, then we have mistimed our, our, our measurement. And I guess what I'd say is like the timing of when these things get created and when the get nodes happens are different. Like they could happen, they could happen at different times. Like I, I don't, that's one thing I've never really understood. I don't know when, I don't know when get nodes happens in, in the process. Like it's, is it at time plus two and then so what are the probability of we get get nodes and that we also get the correct value for the P90? I, I don't know, like, because they happen at different times and there could be delays in between and it's hard to say. So I guess like what I'm saying is like, if it would be that if we get a zero value, not to discount the whole thing, but to discount the zero value, it's not a, we just didn't get it it's unknown, like it may have been, may have been high, it may have been low, but we can't explain, we can't correlate the, um, the data point, like a get node to its P99 or its P P50, if the data point is zero, because we just didn't get it. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I guess the way to say it is it's, it's unknown. It's not that the data is. Yeah, so I guess it would be like, so where we run to a problem is if, if we, if we were to try and compare two dates, two jobs, and we have missing data, that would be a problem. 
So that that's where I'd agree with you and say like we can't do that if we have missing data. But um, we just have to be careful if we want to compare two separate graphs. The data points have to align. They both have to be present. Otherwise, it's if it's empty, we have to assume it's unknown. So, so I think then, I think we should do then, that probably smooth out our graphs a little bit. If, if we take the, um, if we come across the zeros, empty values, whatever, we'll leave them as unknown so that it doesn't skew our data at all. Doesn't like bring it down. And that should smooth out the curve a little bit. I think that's like probably the simplest way to deal with this. Yeah, sounds good. So, um. One thing I wanted to, maybe this is for the next call, um, also look at is, so if you compare a VMI perf audit results dot JSON mm -hmm. and VMI perf audit results dot JSON, um, both of them have different number of observations. I'm not sure if that is intended or if that's something that has. Um, started happening recently. Yeah, so this is this is this is a good one. So comparing the two, yeah. So you can see here's like grades one eleven and grades eighty eight, right? No, I so sorry, I don't mean to say compare the values. Just compare the number of items right so oh, create events okay. yeah so here um vm vm's got a quite a few yeah i wonder <laughs> does vm get consistently this list um let me look at another one let me see Oh, it does. Looks like VMI does not. It could be VMs um, are behind some of this stuff, doing a bunch of lists. It's a ton of them, though. So it's either two, one of two things. It's that the VM controller is doing these things. And we're picking them up, and the VMI controller is not, or um, or it's timing. The timing's different. Yeah, like and yeah, and the reason why I wanted to bring this up is, if this is not intended, then we can. This will just be a zero line in our graphs, right? We can just totally remove this, and you know, make the VMI graphs much more concise. So it will have only the values which are legitimate and not have the zero value graphs. Do you because see a, do you yeah. see these in the VMI graph? Let me see those are. Do you have like lists in there? Yeah. So if you scroll down. Well, oh, go. we just have a bunch of zeros. Oh, okay. Uh uh for all this stuff. I see. And then for the VMs, we have we have values for these, I, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could. Um... It actually, so having this isn't that, so I'm, I'm kind of torn, like having this isn't so bad, because we should never see this change. This is, um, We shouldn't, um, it should always be zero. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look so, at this one. So here you, we've picked up on something here. So we got, it's like we get, um, so it could be there's, this, this one would lead to the theory that there's some timing here, but we're missing it most of the time. So 
same with this one, right? Most of the time, so it it could be happening, but we're missing it most of the time when we scrape. Yeah, so okay, so that would mean the point point being that the data is no good, right? Okay, I think it's is that the point you're making that because we're getting yeah. zero, so the data is no good, or we're not even seeing it, right? We're not even seeing the data. Yep. Yeah. So for the ones which are consistently zero. I, I don't know what's the value. Um, right. I mean, we could keep it. The value would in that be in that case would be to keep an eye out when you know it goes consistently above zero. So let's say if some uh, agent introduced a list call and if we, we are not expecting it, we can keep the graph so that when something pops up there, we we can you know be alerted. But apart from that, I, I don't think there is any. Do you, when you have this implemented, do you, so you scrape for specific, um, these specific fields, right? You, you go by strings, you reg X's that you do it? Yeah, they are, they are a command line value to the tool that scrapes it. So all okay. of these are a least list, sorry, comma separated list. So maybe what we do is, I think, if the graph has, um, if it's got a zero, um, if it's got, um, so what I'm thinking is like, uh, if we get if we get a graph like this, we don't want to show this. There's like there's no point. But if we end up finding data when we do our regex scrape, then we can bring it back. I don't know if that's possible. So like it would be as if um um well I guess what would end up happening right is we get we get nothing here. It would show no data points, no line. Um but you still have the title, right? I think that's how you're doing it. So yeah, I, I think what you are describing it sounds much more like an implementation of an alert. So uh, mm. like to put it Differently, what you're saying is, if the graphs give, graph gives me non-zero value for one or more days, give me an alert. <laughs> um, effectively, that's what it is, right? Like, have, yeah, just have the have the um, the graph show up here, but that doesn't really help us because, um, well, that seems kind of complicated. I mean, it's. Uh... I guess like yeah I, I think maybe, maybe we do just simple as we just I well, why don't we just start with when we get these zeros let's just get the zeros out we know this is bad data let's are we not bad data we, we it's unknown we let's get our own knowns out and then let's then we'll think about it I mean I think then maybe it'll become more clear because we'll just have empty graphs and we can we can pull them out Uh, sorry, I did not get um, uh, the gist of it. So there are two scenarios, right? One scenario is where the graph is going. Uh, graph is non-zero most of the times. Sometimes it would get bad um, zero data. So in that case, we should remove the zero data. Um, that's in, for example, VMI creation to running uh, P95. Uh, we should remove the zero data there. Um, and the second case is that the entire graph is zero. There, we just keep the graph and don't do anything. Yeah, like I'm saying, um, I th I'm saying to start to kind of solve both of them or to start just take a, whenever you come across a zero, um, ignore it. Don't even um, graph the, the data point as a zero. Don't even scrape it. In your regex, and so then, and so then, if you come across um, something like this in the top here, we lose all these data points at the bottom. If you come across one like this, you get the no data on the graph, and if you come across something like this, we just get this right here, these four points. That's it. I see. 
Um, yeah, let me think about that. I, I think we might lose some um, visibility, but need to do some more brainstorming. We can continue this the next time. Okay. All right. Let's go to. Um, all right. I think we kind of. I think we understand what's going on here a little bit more. All right. Next, you've got the shadow. No, I don't know. Is Lugo here? Doesn't sound like it. Okay. There it away. I guess we'll carry this one to the next next time too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you you discussed with K Walk community. So um, this is just a heads up. I have, um, you know, seeded a discussion with um, Quark uh, folks about, you know, an interest in supporting BMIs. Um, this was just this morning. And, um, you know, this is like just an FYI. They already yeah. had to do the milestone. <laughs> Okay. So we should be able to engage. I think um, my plan was to, you know, file this issue and show up in the community meeting next time, um, the community meeting and discuss this in, in detail. Um, if, if you have free time slot um, and if you are, if you want to join, um, you know, we can do that. Sure. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find their, I'll find their group and we can. Do you know what day it is? So, top of your hand. Um, no, I need to go find it. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, this is cool. I'm, I'm, it didn't take them long to respond. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I can check it. Um, I can check too. We can see if we can find the time. Okay. We'll talk sure. To yeah, I'm, I couldn't find it. I don't know if it's a SIG or something, but there's probably something out there on the mailing list that has their info. Maybe it's in their GitHub repo somewhere. Usually there's something in there. There we go. Uh, community page. Oh, here it is. For general usage, K walk to maybe it's this one. No, no, it's not. It. Okay. Oh, it's in six uh, six scheduling. Yeah. Looks like they share that. Okay. Yeah. So if you look at um, the projects in six um, scheduling, um, K Walk is part of that. Okay. Yeah, and that's part of that's where we'd have to go. Okay. Yeah, cool. so the meetings are Thursdays. Oh, it'll be today. Oh. Yeah, let me um, sync up with you offline on that. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right, anything else? Uh, we'll no, carry... I think. Yeah, we'll carry this the next time away and then. Um... Think about this one. Um, we can follow up with the next time. Yeah. So um, regarding that, um, I had done some research and I put a um, set of steps as um, you know alternative proposal on the design doc. Um, the 
the conversation that I wanted to have is if this sounds good, I could probably do a POC on this. Um, but I didn't want to, you know, invest time if, if there are some cases not covered and in and the POC would be futile. So just wanted to, you know, get thoughts on whether this is something that would be acceptable. Yeah. We'll have to we'll see if we can grab Lubo. We can talk about it next time. Hopefully we can get somewhere with that. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. I think we'll we'll end a few minutes earlier then. Thanks, Eli. Sure. All right. Thanks, Bye bye.